Are you looking for the best tripod for astrophotography? Then if so, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be showing you and walking you through the top three options that are currently available on the market. Before we do, I would just like to, to walk through the main features that you want to consider when purchasing a tripod. And these are just some of the factors that have gone into my decisions here today. And I, I do just want to quickly point out as well, I've got a, a guide on my, on my website, astronomyscope.com, that provides a documented version of this uh, review. So if you want to head over there, then that's a place where you can um, read this, uh, you know, text-based version. Um, and it might be easier for you to digest. So, and, and you can compare things like spec a lot more easy. So do consider that. There'll be a link in the description for that. But onto these features. So first and foremost, a tripod, you need it to be uh, stable. So it's probably the most important feature. Um, and that's often um, what provides a, a tripod with stability is the result of the material quality, how it's been designed, and obviously how it's been constructed. Um, and generally, the better tripods are built with more expensive components, um, such as aluminium or carbon fiber. Second up, you need to consider the ball head movement. Um, and essentially, this controls your range of motion and you want to be able to rotate at 360 degrees. Um, and this will provide you with maximum versatility and give you the perfect uh, shots for your DSLR. Um, they're also a lot more simple and straightforward when it comes to framing. Weight is another key consideration. So you, you obviously want to, to pair the weight with um, strength and sturdiness, um, but you don't want your tripod to be too heavy. Um, particularly, obviously, you'll probably be going out taking you know, your tripod with you on the go, um, and you want to make it you know, lightweight, easy to carry, and you can transport it very, very efficiently. And then lastly, load capacity. Now, this is often overlooked, and that's essentially how much weight it can take from your camera. And it's obviously more important depending on the DSLR you have and the weight of it. But the higher the load capacity, the better the tripod will be in terms of stability um, and also just how it will fit the tripod. Um, you want it to be able, essentially, you want your tripod to be able to support your camera at increasing weight. So with that said, let's look at the top three options, starting with number three. So first up, we have the Gigoto tripod. On the right hand side, you will see the main specification there. So you can see it's made of carbon fiber. It has that ball head uh, movement type. It is 3.4 pounds or 1.5 K 1.54 kg, a collapsed height of 19 inches and an extended max height of 77 inches and a maximum load of 17.6 pounds or 12 kilograms. Now, Gikoto has been a great manufacturer of photography equi equipment for several years and they've created a number of well-designed and highly sought after products. Um, you know, this is just one of their products across their range. You can check them out and, you know, they're very, very reputable in their space. Um, this particular tripod has all of the desired features that you're looking for and it compares against, you know, very well against the others that we'll be looking at shortly as well. Um, that height there, um, extended height is one of the the, mo the ma most maximum you can kind of find within tripods, um, and that you know is is really really easy to achieve as well. It can you can do that relatively quickly and easy. There's a quick release flip lock um, that you can use to do that, and it's the transition is very easy and safe as well. Um, what I particularly like about this tripod is that it's very easy to disassemble. Um, and you can do that using the central axis screw. Um, and you can also adapt this into a monopod as well, which is great when you're kind of shooting at the sky. So that's at number three. Number two, we have the KNF Concept tripod. Again, I've put some of the specification on the right hand side there. So this particular tripod is made of aluminium, which is very, very good. Um, again, it's a ball head. Um, its weight is 3.99 pounds or 1.8 kg and its maximum load is 22 pounds or 10 kg. So this is a fantastic tripod. It's designed obviously with four section legs which give you that stability you're looking for. Um, it has a large di diameter alloy tube which is great for its foundation uh, and gives you that stability you need. It's you know its maximum height while 
it's not referencing that specific specification table on the right is actually 66 inches so it's a little bit less than the one before um, but it's certainly sufficient for what you're going to need it for um, the horizontal center column can also be easily and quickly uh, um, adjusted sorry um, to where you kind of require it. Um, it what i like about this particular tripod is very compact and it's very flexible and versatile in how it works it's got great rotation abilities and it also has this other feature known as a well it's a bubble level and that basically enables you to quickly find and balance um, your, your DSLR to make sure you can get you know the best accuracy when it comes to taking um, photos you can of course take the legs off as as well you won't be able to see in the picture of the screws and that makes it you know you can double it up as a monopod as well and what lastly before I move on to number one another great feature of the KNF concept is that the legs you can actually manipulate and place them at different angles so you can use this particular tripod even on uneven grounds or surfaces so you're now probably wondering at number one what is the recommended tripod for astrophotography well we're going to get onto that right now this is the newer carbon fiber tripod and this is the editor's choice it's carbon it made, made of carbon fiber again bull head it's only four pounds so 1.8 kilograms at a collapsed height it's 22.4 inches the extended max height is just shy of 70 inches and it can take 8.8 .8 pounds or um, four kilograms and in my experience this is you know the best tripod on the market it's actually the one i have um so just bear that in mind um i probably should have taken a picture of it actually but uh i wanted to get this video out there um quicker so i, I didn't do that but this is basically a picture of the, the product page um that you'll find over at amazon um so yeah this is the one i opted for several years ago can't speak more highly of it and i still use it to this day um, and without going into too much detail um, you know it's been a great investment it's still you know it's it's held up very very well and um, you know there's very limited you know very low signs of wear from when I first unpacked it um, I've been able to capture some great and impressive astrophotography photos over the years and the particular feature that I love about this is um, of course how you can take the legs off and use it as a monopod I mean it's the same as all the others but it is a great feature to consider with the tripod um, again the tripod legs are very very versatile and you can spread them in any position you need which is kind of crucial when you want to obviously take some great pictures um, I like the the ball head pan and ball lock knobs which are you know they work particularly well um, they're very fluid and they provide the right amount of resistance when you're working with them um, of course you can move the tripod in 360 degrees in any direction you desire so you can get those truly panoramic panorama can't even say the word panora panoramic there you go sorry about that panoramic shots um, you can also easily reverse the center column for low angle views which is a really really good feature and you can adjust the height accordingly so it's great when you're out in the field um, it's a brilliant choice this is what i would recommend getting it's very well designed it's very sturdy and it's brilliantly built so i would suggest this is the one you get so that is my final verdict as I've mentioned, all of the three tripods referenced here today are very, very good. You can't go wrong with any of them. Um, they wouldn't be in this list if not. There's you know, plenty of tripods on the market. These three tick all of the boxes. If you head over to the links in the description, they are affiliate links, so do bear that in mind. I will earn a commission if you if you purchase through them at no additional cost to you, just bear that in mind. Um, but if you do head over to the Amazon pages, you'll see the customer reviews and you'll see you know, why these um, why these are such fantastic options. Um, and you'll probably see why I opted for the newer tripod in the in the first place as well. So that's the one I would recommend, the newer tripod. Um, take a look, see what other people are saying. And yeah, I wish you all the best with your astrophotography astro pursuits. And I hope you have an excellent day.